I mean, as I'm playing, I'm singing, you know, the upper line, and I'm also thinking of the harmony shrinking from a dominant into a tonic, and then going forward again. Some notes fold down, the sighing effect, which we know where those are. Mm -hmm. This is a sigh down where he does this. It's definitely sigh down, isn't it? to lean here, lean, and It's very sensitive to, you know, everything, because the middle voices can just jump out at any time and kill the, you know, the soloist. You're just, these are just the accompanists inside with the harmony, filling in harmony. You gotta be really careful. I think what you should do, just to refresh a little bit of practicing, is do the upper voice and the bass. Mm -hmm. You know, that'll refresh your not just your fingering, but your legato, your decisions that you're making about how you're um, contouring your lines. Mm -hmm. two lines that are feeding off each other. Your basic bass is your bottom, right? Your bottom frame, mm -hmm. and your soloist on top. Mm -hmm. And all the rest is, is, is actually dealing with, with filling in harmony. It's not to upstage the melody and the bass. Mm -hmm. It's just wave, waves of harmony, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do everything together and see if you can keep in mind the top and the bottom voices as the stars of this piece. Cello and violin. You, you, you're coming from silence into sound, but there is some kind of something leading in preparing you. Yes. But I would, yeah, it's piano. He has a little, um, uh, somebody put a parenthesis whether, you know, it's really that soft. But I think I'd want to really hear it a little more. If it's so tiny, you know what's going to happen. That middle voice is going to come popping out. Um, so you're going to lean towards your melody. Drag the middle voice. shifts a little toward whatever voice is bringing out. The little emphasis in the angle of your hand, I believe.
Yeah. Did, yeah, it was the thumb jumping out on you on that D number two, I think. It was right here. So was that. It has to be so. The second beat. It was the thumb on the second mm -hmm. beat mm -hmm. of the right hand. And probably the left hand doing it too at the same time. Because that's just, you know, that's just trickling across some um, harmony, wavy harmony. You should do it. See if you have all the notes as a block under your under your hand, which you're going to be starting with. And then you use the four. Four, four is the hanging on finger to connect to the five, one. That's what today is. So five, one, one, two, one, two. This has to survive. I don't care if those little in betweens disappear a little. I much want to hear the upstairs. Okay. Try not to land so hard on your the violin playing it. Control. See how, how you can do such a like seamless middle voices and nothing pops out. Just between what? Alto and tenor? Alto and tenor. I'm gonna... Gist of it right there. So they're all doing one, two, one, two, right? One, two, one, two. Remember how we practice this? They're all one, twos. That's the good news. Right? They're all one, twos between the hands. Anything. Your thumbs are seamlessly floating. You. You're floating. If nothing really sticks out. tight here and the wrist goes tight and then you get intrusion of your melody and your cello and your, your violin lines. 